you're taken seriously, yeah. you've got to wear a suit in business. I could have come in here with a tracksuit, right? I could have worn a baseball club or something and, you know, be pretty relaxed. And then I'd go and change into a suit and be completely transformed. You would, but if I walked out here being casual, who is this guy? What I've done here is I've interpreted the check in the cloth with the sharpness of the edge. You see, if I take my jacket off and I put it on, you just simply put one arm in. And this easy put it over my shoulders. A lot of people, when they put a jacket on, they do this. That's me. And they fight them. <laughs> And the comfort you feel in a garment that is specially made for you, the process we go through. For instance, when you first come in here, we would communicate to you. It's almost like 20 questions. So we'd make observation of your figure. You know, we can have a dozen customers with the same measurements, but completely different figures. So we spend at least 15 hours of preparation for the perfect suit. 15 hours? Yeah. So, so I can't help but think that, all right, it's, it's probably a given that these suits, given the length of time and the length of effort that you put into making them, they won't be your normal run-of-the-mill 300-pound suits that you can get in any suit no, shop. No, you add another zero to that. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> Our suits are 4,500 pounds. Two-piece suits, 4,500 <clears throat> We have a three-format waiting list for our suits. So customers are prepared to wait for the best. It's good, isn't it? Right. Um, well, apart from making suits and, and making people feel special about themselves, what else does Andrew Ramos do? I like going home to Trinidad. So you do that quite often? I do that a lot. Um, so carnival and all that creativity and imagery that's surrounding it, are you involved in any way? In some well, way? I, I play carnival. I um, you know, played last year and I'm invited to play again next year. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of fun, you know, frolic, the greatest frolic on earth, you know, it's a uh, street car, car, car and stuff, and music, it gets into the world of music. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.